All right, this is Craig Wessel. Um, I thought I'd put together a little scorekeeping tutorial for those of you that are relatively new to keeping score for games. I mean, if you're, you know, at your kid's baseball game and somebody hands you a scorebook and tells you to keep score uh, and you're not familiar with it, it can be a little confusing. Um, so this will help you get started a little bit. Um, what you'll find, almost every scorebook is different. The score sheet itself is designed differently. Some of them will have boxes in here for you to keep track of the balls and strikes. Some will have um, across the top here, they'll have first base, second base, third base. They'll have the different hits that you can do and you circle them. Um, this one's one that I've designed. It's, it's very simple. It, it makes it to where you can, uh, it's, it's very free form. You can put the information you want and leave out what you don't. So uh, first thing you want to do, as I've done here, this is uh, actually a Texas Rangers game from 2010 back in June 2nd, um, I filled out the lineup and I put the player's positions. If you're not familiar with position notation, um, the positions start with pitcher. They're one for the pitcher, two is the catcher, three is first, four is second. Then you skip over to third base for five and shortstop is six and the outfield from left field around to right field is seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is Elvis Andrus. He is playing shortstop. And that's his number, okay? Michael Young is at DH. Kinsler is playing second base, right? And so forth. So once you have your lineup set, the important thing, too, is if you're keeping score for a little, little league game or whatever, one of your main jobs is to make sure that when the other team comes up to bat, they don't bat out of order. You'll be given their order at the beginning of the game, and you need to make sure they stay in it. If they bat out of it, go to the coach of the team that you're um, – there with, tell them, and they'll, can, they'll get the umpire involved. Um, but basically, um, you know, when you're keeping score, that's one of the main things you want to do. Um, or if you're keeping score somewhere else, just go directly to the umpire and tell them that the team's out of batting out of order. Um, okay, so starting out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replicate the first few innings of this game as I scored it uh, to kind of show you what happens now. I do a couple of things. I keep track of the, the pitcher's balls and strikes within the square. And to keep from taking up a lot of room, I use it, do that using dots. So Andrus is up. Oh, and also, too, uh, the pitcher for the other team, I didn't write him down yet, is Floyd. All right. And he's starting in the first inning. And I didn't get his number, but um, he put it there. Okay. So we'll come back down here to where you can see Andrus. Again, all right. So starting with him, looks like he had one ball and one strike. That's how I do that. So I do the three balls right here and strikes up here above it. Any foul balls, I'll note on this side of the on this other side of the diamond with a dot. Okay. And I'll show you what I do with that later on. Uh, but after he had a one on one count, Andrews hit a fly ball to the right fielder. So that's it. F9, okay? Now, I always circle this circle like that. A lot of people do different things. Some people will have you put a circle here with a 1 for the out, whatever you want to do, but I circle that. And then I like something I started doing fairly recently that I just love doing with my scorecards because it makes them so much easier to read for me, is I, I will color a fly out blue with my little color pencil there. Okay, now you don't have to do that, obviously, but that's just my thing. Um, okay, so that's our first out. Michael Young comes to the plate. He has a count of one strike on him, and then he hits a double. Okay, so we want, we want to black in those two lines that show he made it to second base. Okay, now his double was over here in the left field. We put a dot there to show that. Okay, and then you put in the middle of the square, you put 2B to show it was a double. Okay, 1B, 2B, 3B, HR for a home run, and so and so forth. BB is for base on balls or a walk. Um, at some point, I'll, I'll post a list of abbreviations with this video as well, but if you have any questions, obviously you can ask them in the comments. Okay, all right. So we got one out, one man on second, and Ian Kinsler coming to the plate. And Kinsler uh, had a one ball, one strike count. 
and then he hit a fly ball to right field. Okay. So he is out as well. Okay. So there's two outs. And Michael Young did not go anywhere um, from second base. He had to go tag up and go back to the base. So he didn't move. Each time you, something happens, you want to account for where the runners are and how they got there. Okay. So here comes Hamilton. Hamilton comes up. And it looks like he had uh, two balls and one strike on him. And then he hit a single. Okay. So that's a 1B. And he hit that ball, let's see, it looks like over here at right field. And that allowed Michael Young to score. Okay. And actually before that, I noted in here, I didn't see it, but um, there was a wild pitch in someone's at bat in either, I think it's in Kinsler's at bat, there was a wild pitch that allowed Michael to go to third. So he's actually on third when Hamilton got up. Okay, so Hamilton hit him in. Now, to make sure I show where the RBIs are, I put a line. That tells me Hamilton's the one who got this RBI, okay? And for your runs, again, this is just my little quirk, so you don't have to do this part of it, but I like to do it. Uh, for runs, I color them in green. Okay, so one run in, two out, Josh Hamilton is on first base, okay? Um, now Murphy's coming up, and Murphy, what he's gonna do is he's gonna get a full count, two balls and three strikes, and he's also going to, uh, no he doesn't, never mind, he's also going to get a single, okay? Uh, and it looks like for him, that did not let uh, Josh go very far. He went to second base. Okay. So, got a man on first, man on second. And Justin Smoke's coming up. Smoke went to a three ball and one strike count. And then he was walked. Okay. So now we have bases loaded. And each time you just move them along the base paths. Okay. Bases loaded. Matt Trainer coming up to the plate. Trainer gets a two ball count. So he is two and zero, oh, and he rips a double. Okay. And that was a double um, to left. Okay. So that scores Hamilton and that scores Murphy. Okay. So we got two more runs scored. So again, you follow them around, and now he gets two RBIs. Okay. Okay, now the next batter is Blanco. Blanco, again, gets the pitcher to a 3-1 count, and then he walks. Sorry, I didn't do this for, for um, Smoke, but you put a BB in there for the walk. Or I do. Some people, you can use a W... Um, this, there's no hard and fast rules. You just want to capture the information so that you can go back later and see what happened. All right. Okay. So Blanco walked. Okay. Now, next batter up is Bourbon. Bourbon took one strike and then he hit the ball, but the ball was hit to the shortstop. The shortstop through the ball to second base, so 6-4, and forced out Blanco. Bourbon then, we show that as a fielder's choice. It was, the, it was a fielder's choice what they did here. And I like to do this, I'll put a mark, a line, just to show the fielder's choice and that led to this play, okay? So 6-4 is the out, okay, that's three outs. And when it's a ground ball, out. I like color, color that in brown. Okay? So 6-4. And then you go to wherever the inning, wherever the, the last batter of the inning, you go to the bottom right corner of their box and you put a mark like that. That tells me 
we're going to start the next inning up here at the top. Okay. Now, what I also do is I look at my pitch counts. I can tally them up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three. 45, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 pitches. Okay? So he threw 33 pitches now. Most of the time I'll have room to mark this somewhere in here other than where I'm going to show you here. Um, but I'll just make a note here that this was 33. I'll box it in. Okay? That tells me it's a pitch count for me. That's my own. So I total, I tally up the pitch counts by inning, okay? And then you can come down here. I'm, I've got built into this sheet. I've got room to come down here. And for Floyd, I can actually put in what he threw. So he threw, and I'm using X's for balls and, and zeros for strikes, okay? So first batter, he threw a ball and a strike. Next batter, he threw a strike. Um, next batter, he threw a ball and a strike. And there's 15. You can these boxes here. It's a little darker line here. Um, so one, two, three. Let's see, five pitches in. One, two. And you count. Uh, sorry, I also didn't tell you. We need to count the ones that happen. If the batter hits the ball, it's a strike. Okay. So actually, we have so far we have. Here, I'll just tally them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen strikes. So I've got two there. I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's 12. I need four more. One, two, three, four strikes. There's 16 strikes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 14, 15 balls. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That should be right. There's ten, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so I'm keeping track of. This is the way you look at his total balls and strikes if you want to. Don't have to do it. It's just available on the sheet. Okay. So let's go back up here. And we'll go to... Now I'm skipping the home team. Uh, this was against the um, Chicago White Sox. I'm going to skip them and come back here and just show you another inning. Okay. So we're starting the new inning. So we go over to the top. Because down there this tells us we go to the top. Um, and then we're going to have... Um, a three and one count on Elvis Andrews, and he's going to walk. So we put our BB in there, and he walks. All right. Next batter up. First pitch, Michael Young hits a double. Okay. His second double of the game. And Elvis is fast, so Elvis scores. And Michael gets an RBI for that. All right. So, for Mark, for Elvis, we want to color him in. Now you can do this. Sometimes I'll color these in after I'm done. It doesn't matter. I just like to keep track of it. It's easy to pick up the things when I'm looking at the game later. Okay? All right. So then, uh, Ian Kinsler comes up, gets a strike, and then he pops out to the right fielder again. So that's an F fly ball, nine for right field. Okay? I would highly recommend if you're going to be scoring some games, there's tons of full games on YouTube. You can go and score, you know, get some practice scoring games. Try it out. 
um, because you can't make any mistakes because everything is, is there for you, okay? All right, next batter up's Hamilton, and first pitch, he gets a single. There's a single right at the middle, and that single is going to score Michael Young. So Hamilton gets an RBI. All right, so now two runs in in the inning and one out. Okay, so Murphy is coming up. Murphy is going to get a two and two count on him, and he's going to strike out. Now, if it is a strikeout swinging, it's a regular K. You circle, I'll circle that K. Okay, and I do K's for my whole system here. I do them in red. Okay, I can spot him. So he struck out. If he struck out looking, it's a backwards K. And I'll show you one of those here in just a minute. Okay. But so we got two outs. Uh, and then here's Smoke coming to the plate again. And Smoke is going to get a two and one count on him. And he is going to line out to the first baseman. So L3. Okay. Line out to the first baseman. And that is going to be the third out of the inning. Okay. Now you think in the air, I color blue. That's just my own personal thing here. Like I say, you don't have to shade these in or even you know, do it exactly this way. I'm just trying to give you an idea. All right, let's do our pitch counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pitches. I'll come in here and I'll make a box. And then I'll... Squiggle, I do a squiggle line in there so that I won't get confused and go back to that inning. Okay, it's blocked out, so I know. All right, now 18 pitches. Now, if I'm gonna keep, if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now, but if I was gonna keep track of all the pitches, I'd go ahead and come down here and fill this in with balls and strikes. Okay, so let's go on to third inning. I don't wanna bore you guys. All right, third inning is gonna start down here with trainer. This is my mark tells me the next batter is trainer for that inning. Okay. And Trainer on the first pitch hits a home run. And that is H R. Alright. You fill that in. And that was the left field, and he gets an R he gets an RBI for himself, hitting himself in. Okay. If you have questions on what's you know how these things work a lot. You just need to know the rules fairly well. Um, if you're new to it, don't worry about it. It's something that that you can find out more about over time. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to you know to ask people to know. And you can always look up look up things in the rule book if you have any questions. All right. So now we have Blanco coming up, and first pitch swinging Blanco grounds out to the first baseman. It's the only place I use that G three. Because it's some people will put a three with a U for three unassisted, but uh, I just started using G three when I was taught how to do this, and that's just what I do. So ground out to the first baseman. Okay, so there's an out. We have more bones coming up. He gets a one and two count on him, and then he flies out to the right fielder. Okay, so. F9, I'm going to color that one. My color kids, blue. Yes, we do. All right. So we're bonus out. We go back to the top of the order. Elvis Andrews, okay. Elvis gets a full count. Three balls and two strikes. And then he doubles. The Rangers are wearing Floyd out at this point. Uh, and if I remember in the game, the, the bullpen uh, pitchers were up and active. No, I'm sorry. That's from another. He didn't get an RBI there. Sorry, y'all. All right. So there he is on second base. All right. At this point, the um, White Sox brought in another pitcher. They brought in Pena. And that is in the third inning. So I'll put a note there. And then what I do is I'll come up to the where I'm keeping the score in, and I will put a jagged line showing that there was a pitching change. And I'll know it was Pena's the first one, so I'll know that was him from here on out pitching. Okay. 
So Pena comes in, and the first thing he does, he gets a one and two count on Michael Young, one ball and two strikes, and then Michael Young flies out to right field. Okay? So color that in. That's right. That'll be our third out of the inning. Okay? I'll break this. I'll color it in. There we go. All right, so Elvis is stranded, and that ends our inning. Three outs right there. Let's count our pitches up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pitches that time. Now the difference is we'll break that up. Instead of using the sixteen, I'll break it up between the two pitchers. The first pitcher in the inning, which was Floyd, had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pitches. So he had 12. The next pitcher, which is Pena, had four. So I'll do a box under that. And I just know what that means. That means the first pitcher, and there are some innings when I've had three, but I just line them up, you know, and account for their pitches separately. Because you're going to keep track of pitches down here at the bottom. you got a line for Pena. You're going to keep track of his pitches, okay, just like you were Floyd's. Like I said, I'm not doing that right now, but that tells you how I'm handling it. I'm going to do one more half inning here uh, for now. I don't want to make the video too long. But we got Kinsler's coming to the plate, and Pena is still pitching. Um, Kinsler gets a 2-2 two and two count, and then following his tradition previously, he flies out. This time, though, to center field. That so makes it a little different. Next batter up, Hamilton gets a full count. And then Hamilton strikes out looking. There's your backwards K for strikeout looking. All right. Murphy comes up with a two and one count. And Pena retires the side because Murphy lines out to the center fielder. Line out or fly out. I'll use line out for an outfielder if it's just on a rope. And that's what this one was. Straight to Mur straight to the center fielder. Okay. So, and for the fly outs we'll do the blue and for the strikeout we'll do the red don't want to forget to tally our pitch counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 12, 13, 14, 15 pitches doesn't matter in here where you put that I try to put it at the bottom if I can okay just somewhere in the inning so that I know what the total pitches are. That way, when the game is over, I can come in here and go, okay, well, I know the first pitcher, Floyd, had 33 pitches this inning and 18 here, right? That's going to give him 51 pitches right there, plus these six. So he had 57 pitches, right? And then I would put down how many pitches he had in the sheet down here, okay? How many innings he pitched and so forth, all right? So this is just a basic, quick and dirty tutorial about how I do that, how I and how I use the score sheet that is also in my Ultimate uh, Baseball Scorebook. Um, and at some point, I'll put a link in here to that for you guys. But anyway, just want to give you a quick run through of how I'm doing this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.